by our works. Our works won't save us, but it will, uh, it will be a, a reward for us if we'll do the will of God. The Bible said, uh, if man say he loveth me and keep not my commandments, he's a liar and the truth is not in him. Amen. So we know today that we're going to live for Jesus. We must keep his commandments. Now, let's suppose that you break one of God's commandments and you realize you broke one of God's commandments. He said, my little, my little born ones, he said, my little children, these things are right unto you that you sin not, but if any man sin, we have an advocate with Jesus Christ the righteous who is just to forgive you, not only you, but the sin of the whole world. Now, he would forgive the whole world if the whole world would stand up and repent of their sin. Uh, he would forgive the whole world. But let's take an individual, an individual today that uh, transgressed God's laws, uh, transgressed and they're sorry, and God looks on the heart. God knows exactly whether you're sorry or not. He looks down in the heart, and he knows there. He says, here, he said, I can shut the door and no man can open it. I can open the door and no man can shut it. Uh, so God has all power, both in heaven and earth. He has all power. But here he has given us, uh, praise the Lord. He said, uh, here, uh, praise God, he speaks about having, uh, brother, the keys of David, uh, both death and hell, and, and brother, he has the keys of both death, hell, and the grave, brother. And he got up on the other side the sweet banks of sweet deliverance. He got up on the other side of death, hell, and the grave, brother. He said, oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your stain? Remember now, I'm talking about a spiritual life that the Lord said, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go, I'll come again and receive you unto myself where I am, there you may be also. That's a promise he made you. That's not just a maybe, that is a promise he made you. Here we find him in this book of Revelation here, he says, I know your works. I know, I praise God in one place there. He said, uh, brother, i rather for you to either be hot or cold, but not lukewarm. He don't want us to be lukewarm. He wants us to be uh, a brother. He wants us to be on fire for him. He wants us to be a, a praise God, something holy uh, pray, that we can call upon him. The Bible said, he that's holy, let him be holy still. That last uh, chapter of Revelation said, he that's holy, let him be holy still. He that's filthy, let him be filthy still. Still. He said, I come a quick and my reward is with me to give every man according as his works shall be. Brother, according to his works, brother, I praise the Lord. He said, I'm the root and the offspring of David. I'm the bright and morning star. I'm the, I praise God, I'm the bright. I'm the first of 10,000. Hallelujah. Brother, let me tell you something. We're not talking about a dead God. We're not talking about a God that's down there in the grave. We're talking about a risen Savior. A Savior that arose from the dead and uh, descended back and sitting on the right hand of the Father. And who is he making intercession? He's making intercession for us today. He said, suffer my, my little children. said, suffer little children come unto me and forbid them not for such is the kingdom of heaven. For the little children, behold the face of my Father. Speaking of our little uh, little children, our little born ones, he, uh, the Bible said that today's the day of salvation. I know there are a lot of people out there perhaps watching. I uh, said, well, says some other time, preacher. Uh, maybe some other day I'm going to serve the Lord. Well, this may be the very last message that you'll ever hear. Maybe the very last time that someone's ever sung a song to you. Maybe the very last they'll ever sing to you because this may be the last uh, this may be the last call the Bible said today is the day of salvation tomorrow could be too late uh, next week could be too late one minute from now uh, if God is knocking at your heart he said I stand at the door and knock he said any man that heareth me knock and will open I'll come in and sup with him and him with me notice he was writing this unto the church of Philadelphia he's writing this to a, a very large church there in Philadelphia there yeah, praise the Lord in, in that day and time and we see that uh, John was on the Isle of Patmos there and brother he uh, prayed he was on the Lord's day and brother praise God he uh, he uh, the Lord showed John John not only showed him, but brother, he, he heard a voice, brother, and honey, a praise God we see here that he told him there. He said, uh, seal up 
uh, uh, praise God, the book, and write no more. Uh, brother, praise God, uh, notice here, uh, brother, when God said, I'll close it out, brother, he closed it out, uh, brother, that we would not know. Uh, praise God, he said, it's only through those that, praise God, is looking for him. Paul said, if only in this life we serve Christ, we're of all men most miserable. I've got a hope over there on the sweet banks, the sweet deliverance. Do you have that hope tonight? Do you have that hope today? Have you been born again? Have you been down to the, uh, praise God, to the fountain and drinking from Emmanuel's vein? Have you been filled with the Holy Ghost? And, and brother, praise God, you're, you're, you're ready to go up. And, and brother, uh, praise God, he said he loved just brother. He said he, uh, praise God, when I was in the world, he said, I, I love my own, I love them unto the end. And notice here, he, uh, praise God, he, he said, I, I'll go to the Father and I'll pray to the Father and he'll send you a comforter that'll lead you, a uh, brother, and direct you. It'll guide you in all the, the paths of righteousness, brother. Notice here he said, I pray, I write unto you, little children, that you sin not, but if any man sin, we have an advocate with Jesus Christ, the righteous, who is just to forgive you, not only you, but a sin of the whole world. There's a joy in serving God. Some people think that, I pray in God, it, it's a task, but brother, there's a joy. There's a joy beyond speakable. Oh, what makes the joy? It's the joy, I praise God, is a eunuch. I praise God as he went down to the desert. He said, here water said what hinders me from being baptized and Jesus uh, uh, praise God that Philip said to him said uh, uh, does thou believe and I uh, praise God he believed and he was baptized the Bible said and he went on his way what was he doing he was rejoicing there's a joy in serving God I know there are people today they get they get a hair shirt on they say oh my I'm gonna die let me tell you I believe with all my heart, and I believe I can take the Bible and show you, if you're born again, you'll never die. Oh, I know the old body goes back to the mother of dust. Uh, the mother cries out for the, for the outward man. But oh, let us think of, praise God, that spiritual man that lives with inside. The Bible said, brother, I praise God, he lives within us, brother. Yeah, he moves into our being. He comes into our heart, and he'll forgive us of our sin. He'll cast our sin as far as the east is to the west, and they'll never be remembered again. I like that. I like that because he said, I go to prepare a place for you. I'm looking for that place, Brother Elbert. If I don't, uh, praise God, I'd be awful disappointed. And, Brother, I don't think I will be because I believe with all my heart that he went to prepare me a place. And I believe that one day he's coming in a cloud of glory. He said, oh, you men of Galilee, why stand you here all the day gazing into the heaven? This same Lord that you see go will come in like manner. I believe that with all my heart that he's coming again, that he's coming in like manner. There are a lot of people today, and they're worried. Oh, they're worried. But the Bible said for us not to be troubled. Brother, when you see all these things come to pass, he said, no, that the end is not. It's even at your door. Uh, brother, uh, what are you talking about, Brother Howard? I'm talking about all these uh, children against the parents, parents against the children, mamas against daddies, daddies against mamas, uh, uh, son-in-laws against uh, uh, mother-in-law laws and mother-in-laws against daughter-in-laws and, and uh, so on and so forth. Brother, a uh, sin is on, uh, brother, is prevalent today in our land, all over our land and country today. It's so prevalent. A uh, sin is, is such a, a praise God, is it, like a, a brother, uh, is like a curse, brother. It's, uh, it's like a cancer. It's eating at the core of our young people. It's eating at the core of our moms and dads. Uh, people today, they're not seeing the trick of the devil. The devil's offering them everything. He, he said, uh, I praise God, come out from among it. Uh, separate yourself from it. I uh, praise God, you got to clean up in order to go up. Brother, you got to sweep by. Uh, brother, praise God, your heart clean. You got to come with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. You got to be sorry for your sin. You can't relish in sin. You can't say, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm just a big, a good a fella, I'm just a moral person. I can sin a little bit less every day. But brother, the Bible said, a brother, I pray you to go out of the sinning business. I pray you to come clean with God. Come with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Here we find it says here, I praise God. He said, I, I, I shut and no man can open. A brother, I praise God and I praise God. He said, I'll open and no man can shut. Notice here.